Hi again everyone, it's Pastor John here from Napanee Baptist Church. It's great to be with you. It's uh, Friday, January 21st. Hope you had a good week. Hope you are looking forward to the weekend. And uh, we are planning to have a meeting, a church meeting tomorrow on Saturday. If you're able to come, we would love to have you come at 1.30 here at the church. It's just to... Uh, plan for the future and to discuss uh, what we are uh, going to be doing and uh, just have some uh, sharing and some uh, vision casting for uh, 2022. So if you can make it out, we'd love to have you come. And if not, come out on Sunday, 1030 here in Napanee at Napanee Baptist Church. We have our regular worship services and we would love to have you come and join us. Well, what we usually do during these visits is we just have a little time in the Word of God and uh, we do this to encourage each other when we haven't been able to get together regularly because of the pandemic. So if you can turn in your Bibles to the Gospel of John, we're doing a series here in John's Gospel, and we're on chapter 10. So our reading today is going to be chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Jesus is speaking here, and he says, Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Verse 7, Therefore Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. Verse 9, I am the gate, or I am the door. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. What a wonderful promise here that Jesus gives. First of all, in verse 9, he says that he is the door. Uh, he is just not the, the uh, way or uh, the... Uh, the guide, I guess I would say first, he is not just the one who shows us the way, he is the way, and he is the door. He is the gate, he says, who whoever enters through me will be saved. There's only one way in, and that is through Jesus. Uh, and then he says that when the sheep come in, when we come to Jesus and we... Uh, come to him as the way to God, as the way to heaven. It says that the promise is that uh, we will come in and go out and find pasture. We'll find what we're looking for. We'll find spiritual sustenance. We'll find food. We'll find uh, water to quench our thirst, our spiritual thirst and hunger. And then he says in verse 10, the thief comes only to still and kill and destroy. He's really talking about people who are trying to find other ways in, like the Pharisees, through religion or through some other way. Those people who do that are only thieves and murderers, he says. They only come to steal and kill. But he says, I have come. Jesus has come. He says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. That we would have abundant life as believers in him. Not just eternal life in heaven, 
but we would have life to the full here in this life on earth, that we would have abundant life in Jesus. Why? Because our needs are going to be satisfied. Our spiritual hunger and our, our searching and our restlessness is going to be met and we will find that pasture and we can be free. We can come in and out and we can have life to the fullest. And that's the promise of Christianity. That's the promise of salvation in Jesus is not just heaven, but a full and free life here on earth. And so may you be encouraged today that in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we can find fullness. We can find real joy and real satisfaction and real rest for our souls. So I hope you're encouraged today. Keep looking up. Don't get distracted or discouraged by what's happening in our world. And we get such negative news these days. And we we watch the Toronto news uh, once in a while. I don't know why we do it. But they are just so focused on the negative aspects of this pandemic. Keep looking up. Turn to Jesus turn that stuff off and start listening to the one who brings life and fullness and satisfaction. God bless you. Hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you back here on Sun on Monday. So let's just pray together as we separate. Father, I just thank you for each person watching again this morning. Pray that you'll bless each one, encourage each heart, help us to realize what we have in Jesus and to realize that he is the way, he is the door, he is the gate to not only eternal life, but to full life here, abundant life in him, where we can know our sins forgiven and we can have freedom and fulfillment and satisfaction here in this life. So I just pray a blessing on each one who's watching today, and we just look to you now, as we go through this weekend and on into the future, we give it to you in Jesus' precious and most worthy name we pray. Amen and amen. Take care. God bless you. And we will see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.